We, on the other hand, we lived out of the suitcase for four years. I'm pretty sure the size of my suitcase is equivalent to about more stuff isn't always better. Yo, what's up everybody? Uh, Dr. Michael Weir here with uh, the Dr. Michael Weir YouTube channel. Hey, so I, uh, one of my very favorite things in the whole wide world is a homegrown, garden-grown tomato. Uh, uh, to me, there's just nothing like it. I mean, they are flavorful beyond belief. They're juicy beyond belief. The difference between a store-bought uh, tomato and a homegrown tomato, there's absolutely no comparison. I absolutely love uh, a homegrown garden. Uh, nothing like it, zucchini and tomatoes and all these great things. It's, it's fabulous to just pull it right off the vine, use it in your cooking. Here's the problem though. I have an absolute brown thumb. Like I kill everything that I, I put my hands on as far as plants go. Now, thank God parenting is not like growing a garden or I'd be in huge trouble because my kids wouldn't last a couple weeks. So I, I love this idea of gardening, but I really am not good at it in any way, shape or form. So um, I've been tracking with this company called Rebel Gardens over the past few years and um, got on their email list, really love what they're doing. Essentially, Rebel Gardens is saying, listen, we have to take gardening back into our own hands. We have to take it outside of the corporate governance of what uh, is dictating our, our farmland to be. We have to take it into our own hands. We have to grow our own gardens. We have to do these own things so that we can take that back. And I just really love the idea of that. But like I said, I'm not good at this whole gardening thing. So um, Rebel Gardens came out with this thing um, they're microgreens, and essentially it's a it's a windowsill garden, and it's a great starter garden because it's almost, as far as I understand, foolproof. Now we're gonna find out. I'm gonna go through and I'm going to do a trial of this. I'll kind of uh, allow you guys to follow along with me, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and, and and put this together and and see what I think and see if if I can kill it, you know, really. I mean, if it's foolproof, it should survive me. So we'll see if that happens. But I'm really excited for this. They're Rebel Gardens Counter Garden Self-Watering Microgreens Grow. So I'm gonna open this up right now. Let's see what we got. So here we are with the Rebel Gardens Counter Garden Self-Watering Microgreens Growing Kit. I love the name, the Counter Garden. Uh, eat, grow, repeat, love the slogan. So we come in here, let's see if we can see this really well. So grow your own superfood all year long. Free yourself from the tyranny of growing season. Now anyone can grow easily grow a crop of delicious and nutritious microgreens any time of the year. Get your first crop of microgreens in just seven to 10 days with just one watering. Then we see the instructions there. One, two, three, four, five. Looks fairly simple. I like that. Um, nice logo. Very nice. You got the uh, UPC code on the back. Let's see what we got inside here. Let's see what we uh, see what we got. All right, I love that. All right, so right off the bat, we see a nice little note here from Rebel Gardens. Um, planting these seeds is more is about more than just growing a pretty garden. It's nothing short of joining a rebellion. I absolutely adore that. This is the reason I love this company. Uh, we want to see your Rebel Garden. Send it to hello at rebelgardens.com. Share it on social media. During World War II, Victory Gardens popped up all over the country and were responsible for producing up to 40% of the nation's vegetables. There's a new battle being waged and we need those Victory Gardens back. I absolutely love that. All right, so have a, just kind of a nice, it's like a little grow pad there, real soft. Good, three of those. We have what looks to be 
seeds, microgreen spicy mix, like that. And then we have the uh, micro, micro greens sandwich booster mix. Sounds good. And inside of that, we then have the micro greens mild mix, all organically grown. Fabulous. Then we have these little grow trays here. Let's see what we got here. It looks as though we got one. I don't want to break it here. Two, three, three of those, little three grow trays there. And then inside here, I don't want to take this apart, but it looks like we have two trays. And inside those trays are these little ropes, almost look like shoe strings. And I think this is how it self waters, which is super, super cool, empty box. So there we go, there we have it. So there you have it, there's, uh, there's what's inside. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna put this all together. Um, I'm gonna kinda get an idea of how easy it is. I'll do a little tutorial as far as how that goes. Um, then I'm gonna grow a little microgreens garden um, from Rebel Gardens and, and see how it turns out. And maybe I can even uh, eat some of the stuff when we're done. Um, hopefully I'm gonna have my kids join in because I think that's really important to give them something to that they actually create. Uh, I think that's a beautiful thing. And I think a garden is a really beautiful way to start that. Um, so uh, we'll get that done. Now, the, the last thing, I pulled this card out, as you saw earlier, but I didn't read this bottom section. So I wanted to read it to you real quickly here, because this kind of, I think, encompasses a lot of what Rebel Gardens is all about. Today, the battle is between those who want to eat real, organic, local, nutrient-dense food and corporations and bureaucrats who want to control our food supply. The most potent act we can make today is to reject the hyper-processed food and just grow our own. The rebellion will be fought in front yards, balconies, windowsills, and front porches, one garden at a time. I absolutely love that. So, like I said, let me let me put this together. I'll give you my review here, maybe in 30 days or so, and uh, we'll put it all together and we'll see what we think. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. We'll talk to you next time.